Hello and welcome everyone to this new video on Azure Active Directory. Today we'll see how to enable single sign-on for users so that they can access SaaS application. So from your Azure portal, let's go to Azure AD. Under Manage, we'll go to Enterprise Application. At this stage, you can go and add the application to which you want to give access to user. In my case, I've already added the application with the name Amazon Web Services. So I'm going to search for it. I'll add the user who will be accessing this application under Manage. Now you can see that I'm using the free version of Azure Active Directory. So I have to add the user individually, but in case you're using the premium version, either premium one or premium two, you can add the entire group and give them access. So let me give the user with the name ITS1 will be accessing this application. So still remaining under the manage button, let's go to single sign on, pick the SAML protocol, and it's a four step process. And Microsoft had made a really easy, it provides a configuration guide, which detail all the steps which are involved in order to enable the single sign on. So you can go through this uh, guide. But just want to point out, that you can go and edit your basic SAML configuration. So here you need to provide the URL, which the user will be logging into. In our case, we can just use the default identifier, which is the sign in AWS Amazon.com slash SAML. But if you want to provide a sign on URL specific, you can always go and provide it. Same thing for user attributes and claim. And uh, you can add your own certificate for security purposes. And once all these things has been uh, input, you can go and do the testing for the users. But what I'm going to do is I'll show you another way. So let me just go and open the incognito window. And uh, you can go to this uh, URL, myapps.microsoft.com and find it really easy because it compiles all the information or all the apps actually, so that you user can have uh, from one pane of class, they can have all the application that they have been assigned. I'm just providing the credential for this user. And you can see that uh, Amazon Web Services is visible along with all the other application that has been assigned to any other user or uh, to the specific user. Now, if as a global admin, you add more application, all these things will be visible for the user. And once you are signed into uh, one specific application, you don't need to again sign on in case you want to open any other application. That's the whole idea about single sign on. Now it is asking me to add the extension. Now, because I have opened this uh, tab in the incognito window, it won't allow me to. But once you have opened in a normal window or normal tab, you'll be able to install the extension and access these applications. So in this video, we saw how to enable single sign-on for users. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.